So you're ready to move past begging for likes and shares with your social media account. And you want to start thinking about building a quality advertising platform to attract more and better patients. Now, after the break, I'll give you two ways that you can test the waters of social media advertising without losing your shirt in the process. Stay tuned. Hey, Colin Receiver here. Now, yesterday, I provided you some numbers about how social media advertising is proving to be more effective than some other types of online advertising. Now, between today and tomorrow, I want to share five ways that you can set up successful social media advertising for your dental practice. Now, before you get too overzealous with your social media use, consider these points to see if social is right for you and your practice. First off, use free social media tools to test what people look like. Now, I mentioned yesterday the extreme difference between how you use social media and how an advertiser leverages social media. But of course, there's also many other similarities to consider. If you already have a social media page, track what topics people are liking, sharing, and commenting on. Are you getting the likes you want or too few, if any, of your followers are actually showing any interest in the main services that you want to push? Now, this is a great free way to test the waters and determine you know, what kind of demographic and information your posts are appealing to. Native advertisements on sites like Facebook and Twitter are geared to tar target audiences, so help yourself by seeing who's following you before you whip out your wallet. You might find you've got a lot of work to do before launching that aggressive campaign. Secondly is embrace targeting features. In my opinion, targeting features are the only thing that makes social media advertising even worth considering. Social media giants like Facebook have made a commitment to help advertisers round up the audience based on much more than just geographic data and uh, you know age and gender type demographics. They've got all kinds of information about people's likes and preferences and dislikes within their databases. You now have the ability to personalize your messages and get the right message to the right person at the right time. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Pinterest all allow advertisers to build campaigns geared towards a specific audience. You can target your audience based on group affiliations, page likes, purchasing behavior, or self-reported interest. You can even expand from the traditional target groups and create your own audience by adding email addresses, user IDs, and phone numbers. Now, Facebook calls this custom audiences, Twitter calls it tailored audiences, and Google just rolled out a feature here in the past couple weeks that does this same thing as well. There's so much more to social media advertising than just writing a message and hitting the post button. And while that's not going to get you a lot of traction, always explore the deeper options. It takes a lot of time and resources to make sure that your advertising is reaching the right people. So tomorrow I want to give you three more tips about implementing your social media correctly. Until then, keep moving forward. Whoa.